Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna be heading out and doing our weekly food shop. So I thought I would kind of show you guys what we tend to get in our weekly food shop. Um, I feel like we definitely need to be sorting out our diets at the moment. So this is meant to be more of a kind of like healthier style food shop. I definitely don't want this to come across like, oh, diet, this is what you should do. Um, but at the moment, just being in lockdown, I feel like we have been pigging out on junk food. We're not really working out. I feel like the motivation is just not there at the moment. I know so many of you guys feel exactly the same. So yeah, we want to kind of start taking care of ourselves a little bit more, but I'm very much someone who is all about balance, so getting the right balance. I do not want to cut out things like chocolate because I just don't think that is worth it at all. So this is definitely going to be more of like a, just a balanced, healthier style food shop. Um, did I just say where we go? We go to Lidl because obviously you make quite a lot of savings on Lidl, but they also now have an app that you can use as well, which is really cool. And we've actually got like a 10 pound off voucher. Um, and we get one like every month, I think. So definitely worth stocking up at your local Lidl. But yeah, I will check back in with you guys when I've got the goods. Right guys, I am back from doing the food shop. I just had lunch because I was absolutely starving, but I have everything laid out. I'm gonna run you through what I picked up today. I have the receipt as well here, so I can tell you how much everything cost as well. So hopefully this can help kind of give some ideas as to healthy meals, food stuff that you can get on a budget. So this is our whole food shop laid out here. Um, sometimes we do get more. This was like not the biggest shop we've done, but I've got all of my kind of cupboard stuff here, fridge, just a couple of freezer bits as well. There's obviously staples that we didn't need, things like rice, pasta, all of that kind of jazz um, that we don't get every single week, but this is the majority of it. Okay, I'm gonna run you through the cupboard stuff first, and what's convenient is I'm right by the cupboard, so I can literally pack it away as I go. First things first is this. We got this loaf of bread. We just always go for like a seeded bloomer kind of loaf. That's what we both tend to like. I have a lot of sort of like eggs on toast, things like that. Steve has a lot of like sandwiches. So we tend to pick up a nice kind of loaf of bread. I got some cashews for Steve as well because he likes to kind of snack on those. Like I said, guys, this is all about balance. We're definitely trying to be a lot more healthy, um, but I definitely think that we personally never ever diet, but it is very much about calories in, calories out. At the moment, we are just eating quite a lot of calories and not really burning any of it off. So obviously I am no nutrition expert or anything like that, but for me, and well, I know Steve as well, what we try to kind of focus on is everything in moderation. We try and have balanced and healthy meals, but then also allow our, ourselves to have food that we actually enjoy, that we want and we don't want to cut out of our diet. As long as you are having everything in moderation, we don't like to think of anything as like naughty. That's how we try and kind of think of it. There's nothing off limits. We can eat whatever we want but everything in moderation. So as long as we're kind of sticking to a rough calorie goal and making sure that we're not overindulging, that's the kind of aim for us. I track everything in my fitness pal so I can just keep on top of knowing how many calories I'm putting into my body. I do also kind of track my macros on top of that, but the way I kind of think about it is if you are, for example, wanting to lose weight, or gain weight, whatever it is, then it's all about calories in and calories out, and then you can kind of fine tune it with your macros. Um, but yeah, for me, the most important thing is calories and waffling on. So we got some chocolate bars. Um, I actually just got these because I just like having a little sweet treat. That's something I don't want to give up. And these are basically like budget versions of Kit Kats. I got them last time and they are very good. Same as these just some ready salted crisps. These are just the light um, crinkle cut crisps. These are all very deceiving. So these are 123 calories per bag. I will say, I feel like the reason they're light is because there's not many in a, in a packet. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. I got some chocolate honey nut clusters for Steve because he wanted that. 
he's um, said that he's kind of getting into a habit where he gets up, he doesn't eat any breakfast, and then he doesn't have breakfast until like 11 o'clock, which I just think is madness. I can't do that. Um, but it's because he likes to have kind of like a cooked breakfast. So I think he's gonna try and do like a mini breakfast in the morning, have a little bit of cereal, so he doesn't get to the point where he's starving and then eats everything. I also picked up some of these seeded wraps. I've gotten these quite a few times before. We always like picking up stuff with seeds in because we personally like that. It's like fiber, a bit more protein, all of that jazz. Um, I have a plan to do with these for dinner, which I'll run you through in a minute. I also grabbed some tomato sauce. This is just like an onion and garlic pasta sauce. Again, I'm using that for one of our meals, like our dinner meals. Um, more chocolate, just get some, this is like the most basic bitch dark chocolate you can buy. I think it's like 40p a bar or something ridiculous like that. But sometimes I just want like a couple of squares of chocolate. That's not a bad thing. And then I also got these. So these are gonna be for a different dinner that I'm gonna cook this week. So these are just um, like medium soft noodles. I do tend to get the dry ones. So last time I got these ones, these are the dry ones that you boil, but they didn't have any of them. So I got these ones. I'm not sure how good they're gonna be. And then I got myself a bag of this. I'm obsessed with this. This is the high protein granola. They do a couple of these. Um, this is the honey and seed one. That's my favorite. And I've been having this for breakfast with some of their skier yogurt. I didn't get any more this time because I already had some in the fridge, but they do these little pots of skier yogurt, um, which are really high in protein. I feel like a lot of their yogurts are kind of, have a lot of sugar and additives and things like that in, but skier yogurt I think is the best. I either get the natural one and then add some of the my protein flavor drops, or if they do have these ones, these are the vanilla ones, I'll get those. But anyway, yogurt and granola can't go that wrong with it i normally just have them like that sometimes i'll add peanut butter or something like that into the mix if i'm feeling adventurous but not usually and then got some stuffing mix because i started doing this during this lockdown where um i'll be honest i've never grew up i never grew up like having a sunday roast our family just never really did that steve grew up having like a sunday roast every sunday and um i just thought in lockdown like we can't really eat out obviously you know we don't want to just get loads of takeaways and things like that i thought it would be nice to just kind of have a little bit of a traditional or a little bit of a routine during lockdown something to kind of look forward to so every weekend i cook us a roast and we have stuffing every weekend and that's the thing is like food doesn't have to be boring and you know you can enjoy things like that so that's our kind of like big hearty blowout meal of the week is having a roast so since i've been talking about roast let me talk you through the meat that we got first of all i am not vegetarian so i did go vegetarian for a little while at the beginning of last year i intended just to do it for january to kind of you know the whole veganuary trend and you know i went vegan for a month not vegan vegetarian i don't think i could go vegan i think that's a step too far for me um but yeah i went vegetarian for a month and i actually managed to carry it on for i think about six months in the end um and i just wanted to push myself see if i can do it see if i struggled not having me and i'm proud of myself for doing it for that long and i wanted to do it for a number of different reasons but i did find that i was very much missing the meat in my diet um so i feel like from doing that i have very much learned that i don't need as much meat as i was consuming beforehand and yeah i think it's just important to note that there's you don't need to over consume on meat and to be a bit more aware of your consumption so generally speaking generally speaking i tend to only really eat white meat most like if on a day-to-day -day basis um i i don't want to say like never with stuff i've got some pork so obviously that's that is red meat um but you know it's not like i eat loads of red meat that's one thing i just wanted to cut down on so i eat a lot of chicken turkey and fish as well so majority of the stuff is white meat apart from our roast that we're having at the weekend 
Steve requested that we got this. Um, this is the pork belly joint with salt and pepper. Um, you literally just whack it in the oven and it's super easy. I'm not someone who loves cooking. I cook to eat, I cook to survive, but I don't enjoy being creative in the kitchen. So any way that I can make it easier for myself is obviously a bonus for me. So yeah, that is the one bit of red meat that we will be eating. When I say we, I will be eating this week. Um, yeah, the pork belly. Steve wanted two packs of bacon. Steve eats bacon like every single day and I find it ridiculous, but there's no change in his ways, guys. I also got us some salmon. So I'm gonna do the salmon um, with a stir fry. So that's what the noodles are for. And with my stir fries, I just tend to do it with a bit of soy, a bit of honey, um, mix it all up and it's pretty good. Um, and then I also picked up some chicken. I did a chicken not that long ago, which was, was that soy and honey as well? Yeah, soy, honey, and sesame seeds. Um, so we'll probably do that with some like rice and some broccoli. That's really, really yummy. And I've been trying to basically not cook every single night. So we've got four chicken breasts in here. I'll cook all four. We'll have one each for dinner and then obviously have leftovers the day after. Same for this bad boy. I've got a pack, a small pack of the lean turkey mince. Um, this is the 2% one. They had like other percentages of fat, um, like five and 10, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing that with, this is what I was gonna tell you. So I'll cook that up with some veggies and this sauce. And then this is what I got the wraps for. I used to do this all the time and Steve loves it, where I basically get a wrap and I'll just kind of cut it up and put a little bit of spray oil on it and then just put it in the oven with a bit of salt maybe. And it kind of makes like healthier nachos. I say healthier because obviously that kind of goes against what I just said because nothing's off limits, but it makes it um, easier to fit into your calories doing it that way. So kind of making like a leaner, less calorie dense version of nachos. So we'll have some turkey mince in a kind of smarty sauce with some veggies, um, do it with those kind of wrap nachos and a bit of cheese pretty easy to do so what i'm trying to do food wise is just have one meat meal a day which is an improvement of what i used to do um so eggs is something we always get um yeah i eat quite a lot of eggs it's a good source of protein i really enjoy it i never seem to get bored of it i quite like doing breakfast for lunch and doing like eggs on toast i like to saute up some mushrooms that kind of jazz so speaking of mushrooms got loads of mushrooms also got broccoli and then we've got some sweet peppers i just got a three pack we've got some red onions i got some courgette um big bag of carrots i also got a big bag of potatoes so those are mainly to go with our roast or if we just want it with anything else during the week and then cheese. So we do eat a fair bit of cheese as well. They didn't have the one I usually have. They have this shredded mozzarella, which is like really, really fine shreds of mozzarella. It melts really easily. It's so nice. Didn't have any of that. So I picked up this one instead, which is grated mozzarella and cheddar. Um, and then Steve said that this week he is making himself a tuna pasta bake for lunch. So he had some um, tins of tuna left over anyway, but he requested his own bag of um, cheese. So that's why we have two bags of cheese. He just got the grated cheddar one. And then, oh, milk as well. We always get the skimmed milk. And yeah, so Steve is gonna have that on his cereal um we have like a lot of coffee and tea during the day so a lot on that and then um i don't think that like, we normally need to but we have both said that we want to start having protein shakes again purely because they are just so filling they're really good if you have like a sweet tooth you can make like i personally make sweet kind of chocolate banana smoothie type protein shakes and they're good for if you have a sweet tooth but then obviously the macros on them are really good they are super super filling 
and yes yeah, steve used to have a protein shake every single day when i say protein shake we don't just put a bit of protein and a bit of milk in a um, shaker and shake it up we have a blender and we put other things in there like um frozen fruit and stuff like that as well so it's more of like a smoothie kind of protein shake but yeah so so filling if you're looking for something that's really like nutrient dense um really high in protein and yeah maybe have a sweet tooth i would definitely recommend that then i also picked up another one of these these are the fry light cooking oil sprays i'm sure you guys have seen those absolutely everywhere but they're always cheaper in like Lidl and B&M places like that than buying them from bigger kind of supermarkets. And I also got some of these. So disclaimer, me and Steve have each just had one of these because stupidly I did the food shop on my lunch break and I didn't have any lunch. So I've spoken about these on my Instagram. These are incredible. These are the gold standard nutrition pot of gold. Um, and they're basically, it looks like there's hardly anything in there. But they're little kind of convenient ready meals they do loads of different ones but these ones are hands down the best these are the satay chicken ones they've got like a peanutty kind of satay sauce on them um it's got rice in there loads of veggies bit of chicken like i said i don't normally eat meat during lunch but today i didn't have anything to eat <laughs> so i grabbed one of these i think they're like two pounds each um or like two pound fifty so we got four, Steve's had one, I've had one already. And then I like to just, they don't have them all the time. They don't have those in, in store all the time. But when I do see them, I like to pick up a few just to have them in the freezer as a backup to kind of grab on days like this where we don't have anything planned or don't have time to cook something, then they are so easy and convenient just to grab and go. I've also tried the chicken curry one, which is also nice. And I've tried the five bean chili one, which is really not like, it's not for me. It's a little bit too hot for me. So the satay chicken is insane. You can just order straight from their website as well. If you don't have a little, they don't stock them in your local little. Um, but yeah, would totally recommend. They are so good. And then another kind of little freezer meal I grabbed is this. Um, we love having bread and fish and stuff. This is really nice with potatoes, broccoli, you know that kind of jazz also really easy just to have these in the in the freezer as a backup so these are the dusted yellow fin sole fillets in the lemon and parsley and that is everything are we yeah like i said we do normally i feel like we do normally get a little bit more than that i don't know why we didn't today so all in all this shop was 56 pounds 95 but we had a 10 pound off coupon. So with Aldi, not Aldi, with Lidl, um, they have an app and it's kind of like a point system. So you scan the card every time you go and you can unlock certain coupons and things like that in the app, which I think is absolutely genius. And I think when you spend a hundred pounds in a month, you get two pounds off. And then if you reach the 200 pound mark in a month, then you get 10 pounds off. So we managed to hit that mark. So we got a 10 pound off voucher. But yeah, everything was super, super cheap. I'm not gonna go through the whole receipt because that's really boring, but the most expensive bit was <laughs> these parts. These are two pound 50 each. So we spent nine pound 96 getting four of those. The packet of chicken breast is four pound 63. The, um, Pork we got for our roast is four pounds, three pound fifty on all the bacon, three pounds on the turkey, two pounds sixty five on the salmon. So obviously those are like the most expensive kind of um, purchases, but most things are around like a pound. So that's why we like shopping at Lidl because we get everything that we want there, um, and yeah, it's pretty cheap. But anyway, I hope that has given you guys a little bit of insight as to what we try and eat during the week. Don't get me wrong, some weeks we do just pop to Tesco down the road and grab a few more bits if we're kind of running low on stuff. So, you know, we may go and grab other little bits, but we definitely try just to do one big food shop and avoid going out all the time. But obviously sometimes it's inevitable that you're gonna need a little bit of something at some point. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.